Hello everyone from DVD Collection. Uh, I had seen a few users um, discussing printing um, covers, whether they be replacement or custom covers for their uh, DVDs or Blu-rays. I thought I would show you this program that I found that makes that quite easy. It is called Undercover XP. It can be downloaded. Uh, just Google it. I'll probably provide a link in the comments. Um, it's pretty straightforward. All you do is click on one of the boxes, left and right, um, locate the image that you've previously downloaded as a cover or created, um, click open. It will automatically orient the image um, so that it fits in the given space. From the drop down you choose how you want it printed. Um, if you want it to, it to be a DVD box, you choose DVD box, it will fill the entire space. Although, um, with a DVD box, I would recommend printing to legal size paper, not letter, nor standard letter paper. Um, most printers are not going to print close enough to the margin uh, to include the entire Im image. I do not believe you have that problem if you are printing for slim case DVDs, which is the DVD box printed as slimline DVD, or slimline 7mm. That's a standard slim case. If you choose that, it will automatically shrink only the spine, uh, which is actually really cool. If you look at that, uh, what we can do is you can we can print two things at once. Uh, so if you're wanting to print quite a few things at the same time, uh, it, it's a bit quicker. But what you can see here is a slim spine and the normal spine. It only shrinks that section, which is fantastic and simple. It does it all for you. I do not believe you have the issues with the margins on the slim case DVD. Uh, you can also do Blu-ray. It will shrink it this way. It's going to distort it a little bit unless you've downloaded a Blu-ray image. Um, so be aware of that. Uh, one thing that I like to do, I, I purchase a lot of clear cases for my DVDs. So what I like to do is uh, print the outside cover uh, as a slim um, and then I also like to print an inside cover. Uh, the problem that you're going to run into is if you're printing uh, something like a person, he's looking quite distorted, not only because he's being stretched uh, vertically, but also because this is being s uh, printed as a slimline. He's being slimmed right where the, the spine should be. Um, so just be aware of that sort of issue that you may run into. If I were to print this as uh, a DVD here, DVD here, they would be fairly nice looking. This again is going to be stretched a little bit this way. You can hit print both. It will print both on separate pieces of paper. Um, there are different options such as draw cut fold lines. Um, I always just leave that checked. I'm still unsure as to what the hell this is for. Uh, it overlays the images. I'm sure it could be handy for someone. I haven't used it yet, so I always leave that unchecked. Um, but that's me. Um, there are skin options, which I highly recommend changing because this is the default skin, which is a little strange. But again, that's up to you. There are other things that you can look into changing um, under the options menu. If you're at work, like I am, it has this nice little option where it will change the print job name. Um, you can read through this other stuff. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I've only been using it for a short time, but like I said, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I just find it a lot easier to use than, say, um, 
Photoshop or, or what have you, uh, simply because I don't know what the hell I'm doing in those. So uh, that's that. Thanks.